I'm so excited. Alaska is so different from LA. We don't have freeways and we don't have people. <laughs> There's a lot of big personalities here and I feel like my personality is pretty sweet. I'm kind of ignorant. I'm kind of ignorant. I'm kind of ignorant. So tell me, you were chased in Alaska by a what? A moose. Ah! Okay, um, I've had a job since I was nine. I was a paper girl. And Alaska moose, they're all over the place. Can we reenact it? You want me to reenact my- Yes, I'm the moose. And I want you to run from me fiercely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Bye. Bye. There. Picture, picture, snap, snap. That was awful. That was awful. That was awful. That was awful. Whoa. Now I want you to chase me and I will show you how to run fiercely. Okay, but I'm not going to make that noise because moose don't sound. Okay. okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, you are the fire man. You got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Tomorrow your model dreams could end up in the gutter. Love Hi. Walking bowling alley with oh, 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 oh. size, ISIS, lane seven, Hannah. We arrive at the bowling alley and Jay Alexander pulls out these bowling alley high heel shoes. I didn't even know they made stuff like that. Ladies, you're not here to bowl, you're here to walk. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what is going on here? Hannah walks as she just got a bowling ball dropped on her head. <laughs> Drop your arms. Help her when you get home. She walked almost slightly crazy. It's your feet. Goodness. I think it's extremely important for a model to have a really good runway walk because it's all about being overall good. And if you don't have a runway, that's not good. Whoa! Samantha's bow legged. As you're bow legged, you need to cross a bit. Not like this, but like this. My mom has the worst bow legs ever, so that's where I get it from. We can actually bowl between your legs. But I don't mind. I'm going to rock my bow legs. That would be my trademark. It's my game plan. Welcome, girls. Today is your runway challenge. And you're going to be wearing the clothing of a very talented designer, and his name is Jeremy Scott. He's also one of my closest and dearest friends. Jeremy Scott. Yeah. This is Jeremy Scott. How are you? We're here in this vintage bank because the collection's inspired by opulence and wealth and glamour, and you all are going to portray cat burglars. So girls, let's go upstairs to get your hair makeup ready. I feel wicked. Yeah, it's cool. How do you feel? Amazing. If you're raising your dress, do not model like that. Okay. So I taught you girls, yes, the twist. Oh boy. You will be blindfolded. What? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, am I nervous. Blindfolded? I just learned how to and here to help judge this challenge is editor in chief of Seventeen Magazine and Choquette, and none other than Jay Manuel. So, along with the good news, I come with the bad news because it's time to get serious and ramp up the competition. Tonight, you guys have to walk as if it is your last runway show because for one of you girls tonight, it will be your last challenge. No photo shoot, no panel. You're going home tonight. Someone's getting eliminated tonight, and I'm freaking going out of my mind because I'm so scared right now. You have no idea. I'm freaking out. I have love 
that I am the one to start the show. Walking down the runway is one of the best natural highs you will ever get. Even if you suck, you feel so cool. When Sam got to the end of that runway and flipped up her skirt as she was posing, I saw a whole lot more than I wanted to see. I told her 15 times not to do that. Look at her. I step out on the runway for the first time, and I'm so nervous. I totally forgot everything I might have picked up on. That was awful. That was awful. That was awful. Overall, I think you guys did pretty damn good this evening. Let's just talk about the overall critiques and how we did. All right. Now, Samantha. Oh, my God. The arms were the going. The windmill. And the outfit was cute, but then the way you were working your arms, they rode up on your back and your booty was sticking out. I was like, oh, no. Hannah, you looked a bit nervous. Did you have a problem kind of walking through with the mask? I kept thinking I was falling off the runway. Yeah. You looked scared. I had to see through the mask that you were just thinking, and you just kind of like lost it. All right. Jay and I have had a discussion about this, and we are the eyes and ears of Tyra Banks. So unfortunately, the young lady that will be going home tonight disappointed my family but I know that they're already so proud of me just the idea that I'm here I mean that's huge I mean I'm from Alaska I never thought I would be here that was awful that was awful that was awful I love the image I think it's great it's probably one of the best but I'm kind of surprised because I feel like you did the worst for me in the show you were touching your body you were raising your dress I know you had a mask on but I don't know if you thought you saw a pole at the end of the runway but you know as a designer, you're representing me when you're out there. It's I'm so glad you're being so passionate because it makes the models truly understand that you are modeling for that designer. And it is that designer's reputation on the line. This is a business first. Thank you. Well, Isis and Samantha, please step forward. Then we have you, Samantha, taking gorgeous pictures from week to week. But the designer, Jeremy Scott, was so insulted by what you did on that runway. He was disgusted. And being a model is all about being hired by a fashion designer and not insulting them. So don't do it again. this edgy cool haircut embrace that that whole sexuality thing is natural in you you don't have to push it okay, okay. congratulations you're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model Thank you. I'm freaking I'm freaking